Welcome to Ethan and Action. I'm your host, Ethan Baum, joined here by Peter. And today, we're going to look at Mortal Kombat 2021. Directed by Simon McCoy, stunt coordinator Kyle Gardner, and fight choreographer Chan Griffin. How do you feel? How do you feel? Thoughts? So I've watched it twice. The first time I was a little conflicted on the tone Mm -hmm. and the story. But on the second view, I kind of let go of all my expectations and just viewed it as its own product. And it worked. It worked. I was thoroughly entertained. I had a lot of fun with the characters. The fight scenes were cool. All in all, I feel like it achieved what it set out to do. I am more in the disappointment camp. I felt the fight scenes were more montages than actual fight scenes. Like, I, I wanted fight scenes, fight scenes, not clips of fight yeah. scenes i was looking forward to the fight scenes because they didn't go with 87 11 who essentially took over hollywood in terms of stunts no disrespect i was just looking forward to something new and they basically cut it just like how the 87 11 guys do it or at least the editors did i should say where it's more so coverage and i kind of get why they did that with a big budget movie studios want coverage to have options but hey warner brothers you let christopher nolan do his own fight scenes <laughs> Stunt coordinators, stunt editors, let them do their thing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> let these guys do their thing. For some main characters, they were able to show some distinct styles. For Kung Lao, they gave him Wushu. For Cole, Young, they gave him MMA. And I thought this was a pretty innovative choice. They gave Sub-Zero Tiger style. Tiger Kung Fu. And it suits him so well, because it kind of makes sense, because he would grab guys, freeze their, rip their arms off. <laughs> or that part where he's scratching jacks with his ice, <laughs> ice grips. I was disappointed with Cole Young. I was hoping he would become the new Scorpion. Um, fortunately, they didn't go that direction. Yeah, that would have been much more interesting if he just took over the Scorpion role. The overall movie itself, I would give it a 2.5. Um, actually, alone, I will give it a 3.5 out of 5. I give it a 2.5 for the action perspective. Uh, love Luke, uh, love uh, Sub-Zero, love Scorpion. Anything they were involved in just blew my mind. I love that stuff. From an overall movie perspective, I give that a two. And it, it's more just because I felt there was so much potential there that they could have explored and they, they kind of missed the mark. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't really much of a tournament. Um, I guess that's kind of how the game's growing nowadays. Like the newer games, it's not really a tournament. It's more of like an ongoing attack from out world. That's where the, the, I really feel the second movie has so much potential because they will, I think, more try to implement the tournament aspect of it and really get the, the Mortal Kombat vibe. Before we get into here, I want to talk about Joe Taslim eyes. Second best Asian acting eyes. Second only to Tony Lung Chi Wai. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the, these eyebrows, like, these thick eyebrows. Is like, there's so much emotion in those eyebrows. I, I love him. I'm glad he signed to like four more movies or whatever, because I, I can't get enough of him. Well, that does it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. If you're into long-form discussions about action scenes, please subscribe to our podcast, Nathan on Action, available on all podcast platforms. Thanks for tuning in, and we will be back.